Hey, hey, everyone. It's Shelly with Chalk and History. Let's play with our At the Lake transfer today. It is out of stock, but it is coming back. So come on in and join me. Long time no see. I hope everyone's having a great Tuesday. We're going to get this sprinkled. And make sure everything is set up. And we will begin shortly. Say hello. <clears throat> Today we will be using some wood cutouts. I'm really excited about this project, you guys. So excited. All right. Where are all of my lake people? Let's see, hashtag lake life. Okay. All right. I think we're all set to go. Hello, hello, you guys. Sorry, it has been a hot minute since we've been live together, but we have some fun things coming, and I just wanted to show you um, a project today, talk about the May um, Club Couture transfer, and um, we have some May promos. So if you buy three pastes, you get one free. If you have a qualifying order of $75 or more, then you can throw Saucy in there. That's this month's color of the month. So what you would need to do is put your three um, paste colors that you'd like in your cart. I do have a link in the video for three of the colors I'm gonna be using today. Make sure your product or your order equals $75 or more, add Saucy, and then one of those jars will be free for you today, okay? Or this month. So make sure you do that. Um, what else? So many other things. Club Couture members will get a, um, a color car carrying bag if they have a, I want to say a $100 order put in this month. Um, so many promos, so many fun things. Go ahead and click on that link. It'll say May Specials and then you'll be able to um, get all the deets on that. Let's dig in. So this is our May transfer for Club Couture. It's called Premium Gasoline. Um, finally, a man-ish transfer, right? Hello there, Susan, how are you? Good afternoon. So this is our May transfer. It's called Premium Gasoline, full service garage, open 24 seven. Last chance, next service, 100 miles. Get your kicks on Route 66. That's fun just by itself. Uh, it says tires, petrol, and oils. Great, great, great uh, transfer for the garage or if somebody has their own um, business, uh, like a gas station or anything like that. This is great. 
This pairs well with our vintage truck. If you guys have our vintage truck transfer or any of those cutouts still, um, this would look great with that and make quite a, a um, great decoration piece. So I will throw this back in its case. So how do you become a club member? If you are interested, go ahead and comment club. Otherwise, there is a link to my club transfer or club couture sign up. You'll get um, Ocean Mist, Cadet, and Storm. Those are your three paste packets that you get with this month's transfer, as well as a mini squeegee. So that's fun. That just gets you started right away. Make sure you have a 9 by 12 um, sized surface. If you don't have one, talk to me. I'll get you set up, okay? All right, let's put that aside. Today, we're going to work on our sea size transfer at the at the lake. Um, it is out of stock. However, it is coming back, I want to say, this Thursday. If it's not Thursday, it'll be next Thursday, okay? So it's coming, I promise. But I want to start um, working with these because people are starting to go to their lake houses. They're starting to get their docks put out and getting all prepped for the season. So... Let's do something fun. I found this fun paddle at Michael's. Um, I actually bought three more because I want to do each saying on an oar. And I wanted to, um, like, that one will go this way and then the other one will go the other way. And what a fun display that would be um, on the wall, right? So let's play with that. I also Googled a nautical color scheme because I was like, ah, you know, I know the typical, your blues and your red and... Um, your whites, right? But I wanted something different. So I came up with, let's see if I could show you on my phone here. Oh, what is your temperature? I, you know what, we have rain. It's supposed to rain all day. I'm so jealous. Let me show you the color scheme that came up for me. Let's see if I can find it. Cause you know, once you start Googling and you go down that rabbit hole, you you lose where you were. Here it is. So this is the color scheme I came, I found. And I liked it because this kind of could be candy apple, but I'm going with saucy. We're going to use saucy today. This is a really dark blue, a midnight blue. I went with cadet. It's a little bit lighter, but it'll work. This little bluish green tone reminds me of our academia. So I'm going to use that one. We're going to use dune for that. And we're going to use storm for that one. So how perfect is that, right? So that was my inspiration on the colors I chose. Let's get back to our video. All right, first things first, we're gonna paint the ore, and I think I'm going to paint it um, the dune color, okay? So we can put everything to the side. Here's our wood cutouts that we're gonna use today. Those can be found in the Etsy shop decor cutouts. That's all one word. If you're searching for it, um, a little pop down should kind of go down and it'll say um, search shops. And that's what you want to do. You want to search a shop. All right. So we'll put those to the side. Let's get our transfer out of the way. So the other sayings are lake life because beaches be salty. This says decks, docks, and flip flops. Take me to the water. That's the one we're using today. And life is better at the lake. All great lake say sayings. I love them. All great. So this oar feels a little rough. Just a little bit. I'm going to go ahead and just take like a... These are washable, bendable little sanding blocks. Okay. I'm going to lightly sand it. We're painting it anyway, so I don't uh, care if I'm messing up the wood grain here. Just trying to get that roughness out. I can almost see it. So we're just going to lightly sand that down. Okay. Then I'm going to grab a wipe. And we'll wipe that down. use wipes for everything. I wipe everything down with wipes. Okay, we're just going to take that off a little bit here. 
I love this ore, and it's the perfect size, you guys. Perfect size. Let's put these over here. Oops. Okay, I'm also gonna take off this little leather hanging piece here, just so we don't ruin it here. I'm actually using the pointy end of our detail tool to get in there. You know, sometimes when knots are really tight and your nails just aren't cutting it, and I have press on nails. So, you know, when you're pulling against those, that kind of hurts. So, all right, got that off. You could always replace that too with a, um, like a thicker rope if you want something like that. All right, let's grab our dune. Let's get, oh, let's see. I'm gonna use a foam brush. I'm just trying to find a bigger one. And, to spray it down a little bit more. We're just gonna add a little moisture to it. That will help our dune spread real nice. Okay, we're just dipping it in there. Okay. And we're just going to paint it using our Chalkology paste. Remember, if you put three, put four jars of paste in your cart, okay? And then one of them will end up being free for you during the month of May. And there's some fun stuff coming late June. Uh, VIPs will get a sneak peek. My email subscribers will get a sneak peek. Uh, if you want a sneak peek, comment sneak, and we'll get you set up. You're probably seeing it already out there, but that's okay. Go ahead and comment sneak. We'll get you covered. Okay, this is June. This is one of the colors in that nautical theme that I found. I just wanted something different, right? And I will end up probably painting um, the sides too, just because if they're gonna, if whoever, if somebody wants to buy this and they wanna hang it, um, that way it's nice. Okay. Good. I think it's good. All right, and guess what, guys? I finally got the quick dry tool with the six foot cord. Oh my gosh, finally, finally, finally. So now I'm not tugging on it and it's not coming unplugged. Let's get this nice and dry. We'll give it a nice wax. Uh, you know what, we don't have to wax it. We're not pasting on this at all. Um, if you wanted to do some kind of a design on it, you could. I know we have a really fun nautical um, B size transfer with some beachy type backgrounds. That would be fun. I wonder if I have that near me here. I don't think I do. Let's see. No, I don't. I'll have to find it though, because that's a great idea. All right, so this is pretty damp still. I'm just giving it, a, giving it a head start to dry, and then uh, if it's not dry by the time we're done with our other pieces, we'll go ahead and get it nice and dry. Okay, let's put that aside. Ooh, just make sure your edges aren't still wet. So what I'll end up doing is uh, painting the sides too. But you could tell the difference, this is more piney and that's uh, got the dune color on it. Okay. Next, we need to paint our pieces. So let's do this. I like using, or I started using our um, ink mats because it holds my pieces in place. What a nifty idea, right? 
for that now, so here's the colors we have left. We definitely want to use, I definitely want to use Saucy. Um, I don't think I want to use that as my background color. I kind of was hoping we could use the Academia and uh, the Saucy. So we could do like the water in the, or just the word water in this color. Um, the rest in the saucy. So maybe we do the background in storm. We won't use cadet today. So let's get out storm. Let's get another brush. Okay, and we're gonna spritz these with some water. Okay, that just helps our paste kind of spread a little bit better. And unfortunately for me, I would dry my pieces on this ink mat and it kind of worked. Our ink mats do not like heat. So if you plan on using it for that reason, uh, take whatever you're drying off before you want to dry it so that you don't ruin it. Okay, that, oop, I was gonna say that piece seemed to stick and then it didn't. And then it didn't. We're just getting a nice light coat on there. Just gonna try to smooth this out. This looks a little wet. I love working with wood cutouts. It just gives it so much dimension. Okay, let's do our W. Remember too, when you're working with um, cutouts, and I know words are a little easier than shapes. So when you're working on a shape, such as like this little wave we have going down here, we're gonna wanna make sure that the right side is up so that we're not painting the wrong side. Okay. Also be careful with your wood cutouts um, because there is a lot of space sometimes in between letters. And if you're pressing too hard, you might snap it. They're easily put together. You know, you could glue it together. You could make, uh, you could make it work for sure if you happen to crack them. Um, but just take that into consideration. Finish this up and then we'll do our little water wave here. Let's make sure we're doing it. Well, I don't know that it matters. We don't want to do this side. Well, you know what? Worst case, we do both sides. So if one side doesn't line up right, we can just flip it and we'll be all good. Pretty sure though, it's pretty uniform whichever way it goes. Uh, so I'm not worried. Okay, let's get that dry. So it's not necessarily a quick dry tool that worked my ink mat. I think I was using my high heat air gun and that's what did it. Make sure these are nice and dry. We will give them a nice light coat of wax, buff it up a bit, and then we'll be able to go ahead and wax or paste on it.
If you're a lake owner, a lake property, go ahead and comment. Lake life. Because this is for you. We are done with the storm. And we're probably done with the dune too. So let's take that out of there. Close that up so we don't dry up. All right. Let's take everything off of the mats. Sometimes when you're trying to do these cutouts, it just, for some reason, letters separate themselves so that's why water is a little bit separated again you can find these on Etsy at uh, decor cutouts okay we're gonna get our wax here's our wax applicator I'm just gonna go up and down back and forth on this one Sometimes you'll notice the wax will get inside spaces or on the edges. Just go ahead and buff that off when you're ready to. Again, be careful. Sometimes I'm just better off leaving it on my table. Okay. That one's good. Now they're not buffed yet. We're just applying the wax. Take it as you need it. Again, there is a link in the video description for products used. Um, it's with the paste. So I put the paste colors in there and then uh, the free paste is also linked in there and saucy. So instead of academia, you guys could probably use Tide that would be a good substitution for that color. Okay, let's keep going along here. The wax just gives it a nice protective coat. Uh, in case you make a mistake, it also gives it a nice smooth finish uh, so that nothing runs on you. It doesn't catch a little bit of a wood grain and kind of travel or bleed. Okay. Okay. All right, so they're all covered with wax. Now I'm going to take a paper towel and we're going to go ahead and buff that off. I'll grab a couple. I'll grab a couple. How's everybody doing today? It's Tuesday. Life with two puppies is getting easier. Um, they have really um, matured in their ways, I guess you could say. They're still babies, but they've just grown up so much. They've just worked so hard at being good puppies. They go to training classes. Remember, be careful. Don't be too rough. If you have wax on the inside, you could just gently get that out. Little crevices here. Okay. This one's small enough that I could hold in my hand here.
does have that wax in there. Sometimes it just gets in there and you can't help it. You could always take your quick dry tool and melt it a little bit when you're all done. That will help that. Pretty simple with the A. Haven't done me yet. You'll see that it gives it a nice, smooth, satiny finish. It'll also give it a nice shine. I don't know if you guys can see that glare on there. Nice shine. Did I do that? I can't remember if I did the. I think I did the. I think I did the, don't think I did take. Of that transfer, which one is your favorite saying? Take me to the river, life is better at the lake, docks, decks, docks and flip flops, or lake life, cause beaches be salty. I don't like, I like the beach. I don't like getting sandy, so I prefer a pool. And I don't mind being on a lake. I just don't like being in the lake. I feel like it's dirty. And I, you know, honestly, I wasn't brought up that way, so we weren't raised on the water. Sometimes that just makes a difference. You're used to it, right? You're used to it as a kid. Okay. All right. Almost done. This is probably the part that just takes the most um, prepping your projects. You want to make sure you get them prepped nicely. All right. Let's do this. I think I'm going to do, let's do the water and the word water with our academia. We'll see how that shows up. The rest we'll do with our saucy. Okay. So let's open saucy. I haven't opened it yet. This is brand new. course it's going to be only because of my nails. There we go. Oh yeah. That is a very pretty color. It's kind of like a farmhouse-ish farmhouse burnt kind of orangish color. Um, I wouldn't say like a barbecue sauce because that's what it kind of assumes. But nonetheless, that is a yummy color. Yummy, yummy, yummy. Okay, let's get this open. And we're gonna get that section cut out. So let's go ahead and just cut them oops, all out. Grab another pair of trimmers here. They have cut lines on here so you can cut them in a good spot. I like all the sayings, but I kind of like lake life because beaches be salty. Okay, take me to the water. That's what we want. We'll put the other ones back in the packaging. And then we're going to mark the back. This is from At The Lake. Again, out of stock, coming back next, or hopefully this Thursday, if not this Thursday, next Thursday. And then I'm gonna just call it to the water. 
because let's say I have all four of these that I'm working on and I've taken them all off their backer sheets, then I know which backer sheet goes to which one. Just makes it a little easier. All right, just roll your finger on the edge. Take that off. Take me to the, okay. Let's get the done first. Okay, what's nice about our new transfers is they are more translucent. So you can really see where you're putting that down. Let's get a mini squeegee and oof, such a pretty color. Make sure your transfers rub down nice. There's a nice little border um, with these cutouts. So you'll have a nice little border around your chalking. Careful where you're chalking. We don't wanna go too close to that water just because I don't wanna get, I don't wanna get um, the saucy on there. I am so excited to see what this looks like. Okay, chalk it on, take your excess off. I'll make sure I'm really pressing down with a good amount of pressure. And then we'll take it off. Ooh, I like that. That turned out so nice. Oh, that's gonna look so good on the paddle, you guys. So good. All right, let's get Take Me To. We'll get that all lined up. Get it lined up just right. Okay, take me. What's nice is you're don you don't have to fuzz your transfers when you use your wax, um, or at least that's how I found works best for me. A lot of people will not wax. Uh, but I like waxing. Okay. There's that. Okay, where's my lake life, people? So my daughter's boyfriend has, uh, their family has a lake property, and we'll be going there this summer, so I'm Looking forward to that. We did go last summer and had a good time. Okay, again, we're using our saucy. You can unlock this color of the month by having an order of $75 or more in your cart. That's subtotal, right? It does not include shipping and all that. We also have the buy three, get one free. So make sure you're getting, put three uh, jars of paste in your cart, okay? I just restocked, actually. I had to get black and white, your normal colors, your brown, just all the colors that I use on a regular basis. And then it'll say, okay, make sure there's $75. And then it will say, yay, you can now add saucy to your cart go ahead and plop one of those in your cart and one of your paste jars will be free so that's awesome that's worth 16 dollars, you guys okay let's get this off here two me gosh these are turning out so good And take, oops, that one. Let's press that down a little bit on the edge there. Let's try that again. I don't, I don't know, is that, oh, that might be, 
Well, I'm trying to think if that's part of the transfer or not. I can't tell. So let's just go ahead and do that again. Make sure you're pressing down really well. There we go. Take me to the water. Oh my gosh, these are turning out so good. So good. All right, now we're gonna do water and we're gonna do our little wave. So let's get that on. What a great perks pack we have this month. Oh my gosh, you guys, it's worth $356 or more. That is insane. They're giving away a free toolkit when you sign up this month. That's just crazy talk. Absolute crazy talk. All kinds of promos for our customers and club members. Okay, press that down. All right, let's open the Academia. Academia, Academia, I don't know. Let me grab just a teeny little squeegee that I've cut down. Um, it's about the same size as our multi-tools too. But before we had multi-tools, we had to get creative and figure out how to make smaller squeegees. So we would cut them down which I still like to do. I'll even cut like these down in half again, just to make them smaller. Okay, let's lift this. There's that, oh my gosh, so awesome. Ooh, I like that color. Let's get water. I'm also going to um, start my glue gun here. Where is it? And then I'm also going to get, so our squeegees work too, but I'm going to use a color tray and I'm going to stick that under where it's going to drip so that we don't make a mess. Okay, let's get water done. Again, so see-through, so transparent that you can see exactly where you're placing wood cutouts. Don't wanna ruin that one. have the right tilt there. Hang on. There we go. Press that down. And then the tur. Water. For some reason, like I said, it just couldn't get all the letters to string together for some reason. I could try working on that. There we go. All right, I'm gonna move this guy. Keeps getting in the way. Okay, so now we're gonna do water. We're also gonna do that in the uh, Academia. That was last month's, or no, Duchess was last month. So this color of the month was a couple months ago. I love the new color of the month program. This is so awesome. They're exclusive colors. They're only available for the month while supplies last. Uh, so if you like this saucy color, if you're into that Barn, how, barn, farmhouse, reddish. Uh, it's kind of like a dark burnt orange color. Then get yours in the cart. Okay. 
All right, I think that's good. A T E R. Perfect. Okay, we'll set this aside. We'll wash that just with water. We'll be all good there. Let's get everything dried up. These are going to look so good. I thought about making like the background color that we used Storm for. I thought about using these two colors, but I, didn't, I wasn't sure how like one would look on top of the other. So that's why I chose gray. Again, if you have some uh, excess wax on there, you kind of melt it a little bit with your quick dry tool. Or if you have something hotter, that'll melt it away better. And just watch if you have like a, a surface that could work. Just take that in mind. Guys, I am loving these colors and I love this palette. Such a nice palette to go with. Okay. Here we go. This is our paddle. Let's get this. Oh my gosh, that looks so good. Take me to the water. Okay. So let's get things cleaned up here. Again, water soluble. So everything gets cleaned up with water. You can soak it in the sink, your tools. Um, otherwise, I would just take my transfer and have it under my running water. Take a board eraser, or I can wash it here on my heal, uh, self-healing mat, which I love. Okay, so two choices I think I have here. I could do something like this, like the original design, or I can kind of mix it up and do the water on top, or we could separate the words, do it in the middle. What do you think? All right, so let's do this. Let's do, let's have a poll here. Wave on top. And let me get you, let me scoot you in a little so you can see. There, see if that helps better. So, just get this covered here. So take me to the water, wave on top, wave in the middle, or wave on the bottom. What do you guys think? I kind of like it in the middle. Kind of fun to do it on the handle there. Take me to the water. I keep wanting to sing, take me to the water, but it's really take me to the river. That was a, who is that? Talking heads? No, maybe, I don't know. Okay, so this will be, I gotta say, I like it in the middle. I think I'm gonna go in the middle, guys think that's what I'm going to do. So let's take the letters off and I'm going to center it like from here to here because this is kind of like the rectangle I'm working with and then from top to bottom. So let's see where that lays so I can get a visual here. I think that's good. That's good, like right there. Okay. Let's get our glue gun here. And 
just gonna put hopefully a thin line of glue here on both ends without burning myself, hopefully. Kind of hard to hold this when it's. All right, and I'm going to hopefully, sorry about my head there. Hopefully, this is in the middle ish or close enough. What's nice too is that kind of acts as your guide uh, when placing your words down. I don't, it's all kind of lined up on our transfer. So let's do the, I'm just kind of squirting some glue. Very little. I'm gonna try to center it. Usually once my pieces hit a wood surface, it sticks immediately. All right, now we're gonna do water. We'll start with water and work our way back. Kind of bring it a little closer to me so I could see what I am doing. There we go. And we'll put a Water might be a little lower. Let's see. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to get this up without cracking it. Um, let's see if I can get under there. Okay. I have to be gentle. Gentle, gentle as to not crack it. We don't wanna crack it. I don't want to crack it, so I'm trying so hard not to. Um, my paste scraper might get under there nicely. Let's see if a, this might work too. There we go. Okay, Whew. we're gonna just kind of reheat this glue up and we're gonna lift it a little bit. We're gonna try that. Just kind of rubbing it on my glue gun here. Okay. I think we got it. I think that's better. So that one, the A comes over. Yeah, that's more in line. Whew, okay, awesome. We did it. We did it, we did it, we did it. Let's place our A. And then the W. This would be good for cabin owners as well. Okay. All right. This is what we have so far. That looks so good. So good.
take me to. I almost did it backwards. That would not have been good. Okay. Take me to the water. I love how the tea kind of sits in that little wave too. Kind of just right. Okay. We're gonna snuggle the me in there. Hopefully center that just nice. All right, yay. Let's turn our glue gun off. So then I was thinking like I could get some, um, if I could get some colored rope or something, I might kind of put it on this part of the ore. But we do still have the strap, which is kind of in the same color family. So let's get that put back on. Again, I'll probably go ahead and uh, we'll paint the sides and get that done. But for now, we are finished. Let's see here. Got this on the end. I like to make the ends even. I might, you know what I might do, you guys, is I have some white rope. I might try to stain it using our paste. What I'll probably do is water it down. Uh, there we go. So that is back in. If you guys can see that, we put the rope back in there. Take me to the river. Where is my rope? Oh, I know I have it somewhere. This is our thicker rope, not ours, just some thicker rope I had found. What do you think? Should I wrap it? If I dyed it, like maybe this color, we dyed it in the Academia. Let's see. What if we did this? What if we did three times? Would you like, do you guys like that? I think I might do that. Four. Okay, let's do that. I'm gonna cut it. Okay, I'm gonna cut that. I'm gonna go for now, but what I'll do is I'll tape the um, process of dyeing this and then um, and putting it on, and then I'll shoot you guys a uh, finished product pic. Okay, all right, great. Thank you so much for showing up today. I appreciate you. And